The brand new DLC for Days Gone is finally closing into the launch in a couple of weeks. Though we don't really have an exact release date announced yet by Sony Ben Studios, but there are a few sources that have stated the launch date of the DLC is going to take place in the second week of June 2019. So before the DLC drops, we've got a bunch of leaked insider intel on what to be expected at the launch day of Days Gone's first ever DLC expansion. Hey what's going on folks my name is Blackwoods and welcome back to another episode of Days Gone Intel Collections. So now that we have a completely dedicated channel to which Days Gone right here, the channel that you're watching this video on, yes. As we all know if there is one thing that lacks in the dynamic world of Days Gone which is going to be the new game plus feature. For those who don't know what the new game plus feature basically means, it is a feature that basically allows players to still play the open world and do free roams and exploration and even even after completing the main story mode missions or whatever so you can literally just explore the map and do whatever kind of stuff you guys want to do that's basically what the uh, new game plus feature means and you guys might have also seen these kind of features in most of the open world games like Grand Theft Auto, Sleeping Dogs and uh, Watch Dogs and whatnot there are so many games like Assassin's Creed for example has one of the best uh, new game plus feature when it comes to like a story mode open world kind of games and it seems like the devs have been looking looking into the comments and reddit posts on how badly the player base want to see the new game plus feature being added in the game. But there is no actual response from the developer teams regarding this new game plus feature yet and if that happens I would be really really happy. And moving on to the next one ladies and gentlemen this is also one of the most requested feature that the community has been asking and that is to improvise the aiming in Days Gone. As we all know in Days Gone the aiming feels a little bit off. I know most of you guys um, think that it is really good and some of you guys think that the aiming should be better whatever it's just your own personal opinions and I personally do prefer the current aiming system in the game because it kind of keeps you away from you know feeling more powerful you know like you have a weapon and like it feels so powerful you can take out an entire horde if the aiming system was good without even worrying about like finding things to survive or finding place to hide and stuff like that so keeping the the um, aim the way they are kind of forces people to use other strategies rather than just relying on their weapons that's what I personally think I don't know about you guys most of you guys have your own opinions so according to the leaks it seems like they have actually improvised the aiming system in the new DLC so as soon as it drops the aiming system in days gone is completely going to be changed for a better version I believe I don't know it's just your personal opinions like I said they've added in downside aiming and aim a assist feature in a much better way and we'll also be having options to um, customize your invert option which allows players to control the x and y axis of how you want to aim in the game now we all know that Sony Ben is taking the difficulty level in Days Gone to a whole new level in the upcoming updates, which will make things much more difficult and challenging at the same time, though there are rumors stating that there will be a whole new range of Freaker species coming to the game, which will then feature a new Freaker species that will live in the water. Can you imagine that? The rumors have stated that there's going to be a brand new Freaker species that is going to be living underwater, and I don't know how this underwater thing works because Deacon does not swim or whatsoever so I guess anytime you guys want to visit the Lost Lake sites you might now have to go prepared to encounter the new danger that awaits. So there was another leaker on Reddit that I just met. His name is Simon McTavish and he's been leaking stuff regarding Days Gone for a very long time. And most of those things actually did come true and whatever he's been leaking. I don't know if he's one of those developer teams or what if he's any insider who's trying to leak all the information out. But he's been leaking information such as there is going to be an infected monkey freaker which will live on the trees and are one of the most aggressive freaker types that we have seen so far. Can you guys actually imagine there being a monkey freaker? And will have the ability to throw infected rocks at players and will also stay in hordes most of the time. Dudes, can you even imagine um, there being a monkey freaker which lives on top of the trees and can actually throw 
infected rocks at you. We don't have any further information regarding this new uh, infected species here, um, but it seems like it is going to be a monkey species and they also seem to stay in hordes. So by the way, looking back at what the developers of Days Gone have uh, said previously regarding the DLC, they said that there's going to be a whole new generation of hordes coming to Days Gone. So it seems like the monkey freakers are something that um, was really unexpected, I would say. And, and I would love to see what these infected monkeys would try to do. Uh, maybe they'll eat you alive and most probably they will. So I would love to see what these uh, new freaker types are going to be. So once again, these things are leaks so make sure that you guys take this to just a grain of salt and don't take this to 100% consideration because this might not be true or sometimes might be true as well so it's just leaks so I'm just giving you guys the information here but these informations are not coming from the official Ben studios themselves which then leaves us in a situation to whether believe these leaks or not but since the information has been dropped, I thought why not just keep you guys updated on what to expect in the upcoming updates or DLCs for Days Gone. A developer from Ben Studios has also confirmed that there will be a huge patch fix dropping this June that would result in solving most of the bugs and stability issues players are facing at the moment. There are much more leaks and informations dropping on regarding Days Gone, which I will be keeping you guys updated on everything you need to know about the game. Since I've completely dedicated this channel to its making Days Gone content, this will be the best place to know anything regarding Days Gone news, updates, patch notes, gameplays, free roam series, and much more. Everything you need to know about Days Gone, this is the one right stop shop or whatever you guys want to call it. So yeah. So the best way to watch all of these videos are of course using a subscription which is absolutely free of cost so uh, it is not charged at all it is completely free yes that's right so all you have to do is click on the red subscribe button down below and turn on those notifications so that you guys never miss out on any upcoming content so with that being said if you guys want to see anything new added in the game or during the dlc launch well now is the chance to let your voices heard down below in the comments as your comments and feedbacks towards the game is is the only way that the developers are able to make multiple updates and patches because they do read your comments and by leaving your wish list for the dlc down below in the comments and might also help the developers make a better game out of days gone so make sure you guys drop a comment and please do like and support this video if you guys want to keep the days gone youtube community growing and making more content with that being said, I hope you guys have a blast of a day and I'll see you all on the next video tomorrow as we upload videos every single day. And unfortunately, I haven't been uploading for the past few days. I had some internet issues. There was a storm and then my internet just goes up, you know, it just blows up and I couldn't upload. Basically, that's the story here. But don't you worry about that. You guys will be getting uploads every single day. So take care fam, stay hyped and stay safe and I'll see you folks on the next one. Peace out.